Hey guys, so today I'll be teaching you how to backflip in your own home. You can learn this quickly and easily, even if you are a kid or a beginner. So, let's get into it. Okay, it needs to be said, I am not a coach or a gymnast and I haven't been taught professionally. But, this is how I learned to backflip at 14 from my own home. So even if you are a kid or a beginner, this will work for you. Now, backflips aren't actually insanely difficult to perform, but they are terrifying at first, which is why they seem impressive. So in this video, I'll show you how to not be scared and how to have a perfect backflip in your muscle memory before you even attempt your first backflip. But before we even get into those tips, I'm gonna break down the proper technique of how backflip is performed. You want to start with your feet shoulder width apart. Start with your arms behind you as you bend your knees. You don't need to bend your knees past 90 degrees. We are trying to generate as much height and power as possible. Make sure you keep your chest up and strong and that you aren't turning your neck at all to look behind you. As you jump, imagine you have weights in your hands. Wherever you swing your arms is where you are going to go. So as you explode upwards, swing your arms up powerfully above your head. You want to reach your full height before you start to tuck. This is the position you should be aiming for. Your chest should be as high as possible with your head straight and facing forward. The faster you explode and extend into this position, the higher and better your backflip will be. From here, you bring your knees to your chest as fast as possible. Your hands should land on your shins, pulling the tuck in tighter. Some people like to tuck on the knee or even behind it, but for me, I found the upper shin to be the strongest, most comfortable position to hold. I recommend tucking with your knees out like this so you don't smash your face. You hold this tuck until you spot the ground and open up to land. Now, I know what you're thinking. A backflip lasts about a second. How can I think about all of these things at once? To start with, I want you to focus on two main points. Point one, jumping as high as you possibly can into this position. And point two, tucking as fast as you can from that position. Now, let's get to the fun bit. I would highly recommend starting on a trampoline as it's easier and it's safer than just trying it on ground. But if you don't have a trampoline in your own home, I would highly recommend trying to get access to one. You can go to a mate's house that has one and learn it there, or you could go to a trampoline park for a day and learn it there too. If you can't do a backflip on a trampoline yet, then follow these next few steps. The first progression is to jump onto your back and then onto your feet. Start low and then build your way up until you can jump high onto your back. The next step is to go backwards onto your feet rather than bounce back up. This is essentially three quarters of a backflip. So if you can do this, you will be able to backflip. The first attempt will be terrifying, but that's normal. Once you can do some form of backflip onto your feet, I want you to focus on the technique. You can even record yourself doing it and compare it to the technique breakdown I did earlier. As you progress, try and do smaller and smaller bounces until you can do a standing backflip on the trampoline. Once you're at this stage, drill it over and over again, focusing on your technique. The aim is to get this into your muscle memory. Once your backflip is textbook and perfect on trampoline, it's time to go to the ground. Find a patch of soft grass or sand and cover it with a mat. If you're at a trampoline park, use the mats on the side of the trampoline. Now, you should have a pretty good backflip in your muscle memory just from training on the trampoline. So it's essential we don't just throw that away when attempting our first backflip on ground. A lot of people, when they go to their first backflip, they have the approach of just send it and then they get injured and then they never want to do a backflip again, which is a shame. But at the same time, a lot of people stand there waiting and waiting and waiting. If this happens to you and you get stuck in a rut and you just feel like you can't attempt it, then get back on the trampoline, get that muscle memory flowing and then come out and try it again. You shouldn't be waiting on the mattress for more than about 30 seconds. Any longer than 30 seconds and you're probably not going to attempt it and you're probably not comfortable doing it. Once you attempt that first backflip, congrats, that's a huge achievement, but you're not done yet. Keep drilling it on the mat until it becomes second nature. Then, take the mat away. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs by the end of the year, so if you could like, share, and subscribe, that would be a huge help. 
If you have any questions or things you want to see in future videos, let me know in the comments below. Or you can shoot me a message on my Instagram, at James Callahan, and follow it too, because why not? See you next week.